Hi, my name is Sherry Pittman, and I'll be showing you how to use the Imagine It Excel link tool to generate sheet placeholders. If you're looking for a way to generate um, predefined sheets or rooms within your model, you can use the Excel export tool to do that on the Imagine It Utilities tab. There is one thing that you have to be aware of. You do have to have one room or one sheet placed in order to do the export. So once that's done, then we can proceed with the export itself. If I go to the Imagine It tab, and my screen's kind of scrunched here for the video, and I go to the Excel link export, I already have an export created but I'll show you what I put in there. So if I select the sheets and edit it, I need some sort of unique identifier. So either the clarity element ID or the element ID or the GUID so that I can generate these new sheets. And then anything else you wanna see in there. In this example, it's gonna be sheet number and sheet name. So once that's done, I'll just do the export. So there happens to be 16 sheets in this template that I started with already, so we'll go ahead and say OK. And we'll save it. I'm going to overwrite it in this example. If you have Excel, once the export's done, it will open Excel, and we can make modifications within that file. So let me shrink this down a little bit. So once I'm in here, in order for this to work, I'm going to put in the new sheet number and sheet name. You can put anything in there. It just has to have a value in there. It can't be blank. So I'll put in, um, let's just use these so I know that, you know, they're ones that haven't been placed yet. And then we'll just do name. And then in here, I can't place it element ID, Revit's going to assign that on its own. So in here, we're just going to type in create. So you will repeat this process for however many sheets you want to create within your model. Again, these won't be placed, they'll just be placeholders. The same would hold true for rooms. This process would hold true for rooms as well. So we'll say Z2, name, and create. So then I'll go ahead and save this, and I'll close it. In Revit, we'll go ahead and close this dialog box. And then I'm going to go up here and do the import. So you'll need to select the template we used and the file that we saved. And then we'll say Next. And it will go through a series of dialog boxes. So it's bringing in what we already have and then the ones that we want to create. You can go ahead and expand these and look at them if you want. So it's telling me that it successfully created them. If you don't already have a schedule, which I don't in here, I'll go ahead and create one so that you can see that it did generate those new placeholder sheets. So we want a sheet list. We'll just do number and name. and you can see that it brought in those two new sheets. Again, it doesn't automatically place them, but it does create them for you.